Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again and for today's video I'm going to share my second team that I've used up in the Sunshine Cup for season 16 and this team is going to be so much fun right now because I've used up uh, Gorgeist and Makago in the same team and uh, along with Steelix over here. So the strategy that I used over here by building up this team is actually to counter Vigoroth over here with Gorgeist because Gorgeist with Grass and Ghost Typing Totally, totally hard resist, hard walls, the Vigoroth, and as you guys know, how beast of a Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Vigoroth is in this meta. That is the reason I thought of totally hard walling it with Gogaist over here. But since Gogaist is again grass and no, uh, grass and ghost, it really have a tough time with uh, those flying and uh normal types like flying normals like Pidgeot, Noctowl, and Ruffet. Uh, in this meta so that is the reason i thought of building up a avb team style with makago and steelix in the back to pull out maybe something like a flyer not flyer actually to counter those flyers and to specially pull out a fire uh not fire it's uh, going to be uh, the swampert and quagsire mainly because i want to switch the matchups and then uh, Steelix can sweep in the end game so that is the thought process so without further more delay let's quickly jump into the first battle and I pick a and I pick the worst possible lead with this team with the Rufflet over here to which I'll be going to come back with I'll be safe swapping into Mekago and they comes back with their Vigoroth so I'm not very fortunate to uh, counter that Vigoroth with my Gogeist over here and I'm not sure also if uh, I have um, I, if I have quite a lot of videos, uh, like quite a lot of battles for this Gorgeist and Vigoroth matchup in this video, uh, but while I'm using this team, I did face lot of lot of Vigoroth safe swaps, which I countered it with Gorgeist over here. So without further more delay, so I'll be trying to keep in switch and I'll be getting the farm down with this. Uh, Incinerate's coming in and the final Pokemon that they have access to is going to be a Cradily over here. So with Makago, I have successfully uh, switched, uh, like get got myself uh, sh switch in to which I'll be coming back with my, uh, with my go guys onto this Cradily and the final Pokemon again they comes back with is going to be be their lead which is going to be Ruffet over here so they don't don't have anything that they can throw because I believe they have access to uh, ancient power and uh, aerial is alongside brave bird so uh, Steelix just hard walls them and now from this kind of range I can easily go for the farm down and even though they can go for a aerial ace or a brave bird it does not matter to me right now so I can easily go for that and now I can easily come back with my like they can come back with their credibly and I'll be going for the debuffing move of uh, breaking swipe so I'll be going for the next move but nevertheless they went for the next grass knot which does not even knock me out from this kind of range yeah it does not even knock me out and i can easily go for the next uh breaking swipe over here uh doing the damage and i can easily switch in back into my go geist uh, but before i could farm them down with neutral uh neutral razor leaves they go went for the rock slide that does not knock me out and i can easily wrap up the game over here for the first battle ggs moving into the next matchup and picking up a lead of Steelix over here. So for Steelix lead, I'll be not safe swapping out directly. So I'll be going for this neutral neutral leaf damage and I'll be taking in one breaking swipe. Because that lowers my attack and now I'll be safe swapping into my Steelix over here right now. Because they don't have enough energy for Earthquake. So I can easily uh, try to outpace them to the next Earthquake which I could not. So I can easily shield, uh, so I have to shield up this one and now I can easily go for the next move of breaking swipe and i believe they swept in to their uh glygar over here which is actually not a good matchup for my whole entire team because glygar could uh, possibly sweep my entire team over here with access to uh with with having access to uh dig wing attack and aerial ace to which now i'll be going for this back to back triple debuffing moves of uh, like yeah triple debuffs of the breaking swipe and now one dig does not knock me out it does not even uh, i do not even care 
over here but now i i have to let this next charge move goes which is going to be aerial ace which does not even knock me out as well and i am trying to get the farm down over here which i do because of the debuff from breaking swipe so that's how good uh breaking swipe is with steelix it's just a beast of a move and to which uh for some reason i threw a shadow ball to a flying normal type which is going to be the pgot so for pgot i have a perfect answer in my backline as well which is going to be my own makago and they went for the brave bird and they'll be switching out into their own steelix over here again so now i'll be trying to fake the uh, overheat over here because i went for a rock to move in this scenario and now i can easily let this charge move go through because it's debuffed and it is going to be a registered breaking swipe or maybe a earthquake it's fine it does it does knock me out i'm happy with it but nevertheless it does not have anything to throw right now apart from this breaking swipe so i'll be shielding up this move and i'll be going for the farm down with uh incinerate over here which i could not do possibly because uh i i was overconfident that i could reach the next move but eventually it ended up being a loss over here which is not a great thing and this is the drawback of this team which is going to be not safe over here in this in this in a scenario as you guys guys can see coverage uh, in the rating the coverage for the team the bulk for the team is b and a which is really really good but if you see the safety and the consistency it's f and c because it does not have a really safe matchups to turn out uh, even in a hard like in a hard uh, scenario maybe for swampert it is it has access to hydro cannon and uh, earthquake or maybe sludge wave so it can it can thread those grass types over here but for this team it does not have a, a really good move set to counters uh, which counters the counter of it that's the thing so nevertheless moving on with the battle i pick up uh, i forgot what the lead was but nevertheless I got myself switch advantage over here with Makago once again. So nevertheless, I have to uh, like I will be al aligning my Steelix with this Gust Pidgeot over here, which is huge because Gust, uh, neither Gust, neither Brave Bird, neither Feather Dance does hardly any damage to a Steelix over here, and I can easily go for the neutral damage of. uh breaking swipe and dragon tail drawing out both the shields over here and what i feel they are trying to do is going to be uh they'll be going for the brave bird and they'll try to sneak in uh the i uh, they'll try to cast the move and then try to sneak in this uh Don fan which was their lead in this matchup against TLX over here so uh now i'll be trying to be a uh, very calm over here and i'll be going for the next breaking swipe once again which i believe is going to be quadruple debuffed right now but nevertheless it does quite a bit of damage as well and here comes the swipe uh here comes the swap and uh now they'll be going for the next trail blaze over here onto my go guys which totally hard resists the move of counter and body slam over here which is totally huge huge like which is nice and now they can go for the brave bird lower their defense onto my go guys over here or maybe they can go for a feather dance lower my defense and i can easily go for the next seed bomb to take out a pigeot over here which confirms that pigeot uh, go guys is a counter of pigeot over here just kidding moving on with the next match up i pick up a lead again a worst lead over here which is going to be scledders over here i am not sure if that's the pronunciation but it's going to be scledder scledders I, i i correct me if i'm wrong so now i'll be switching out into my makago once again and i can i can easily go for the rock tomb over here as they let the rock tomb go through because it does quite a bit of damage and now they switch into their cradley over here so cradley though it's have access to rock slide and uh those uh grass knot it does have kind of kind of a not a good too good match up over here because i have access to uh incinerate and overheat over here because uh incinerate does quite a bit of neutral damage over here and uh overheat nuke the hell out of that cradley over here and i can again again align my pokemon over here and let this charge move go through once again which is huge because now i can easily come back with my own uh 
with uh, my own go guys once again and now i can let this charge move go through which is going to be crunch because i i can survive one crunch because i can easily switch into my own steelix and snipe them down with dragon tail over here and the final pokemon that they have access to is going to be a shadow above us snow over here which have access to powder snow and uh powder snows and uh, alongside with a ball and energy ball that but that does not threat a steel crown type which is going to be my steelix over here and even though i can let this next charge moves go through but i should have cleared up the first one because that were that will be dealing the most damage because of the debuffs coming in from this breaking swipes but nevertheless they recognize their feet and they did, did not even shield and i can get the farm down with dragon tail on this clear dirge and get the win over here moving on with the next battle i pick up a I pick up the worst possible lead over here with wing attack Pidgeot and they save sap into my Makago and they are staying in which I believe is going to be a brave bird because that deals quite a bit of damage over here and now they comes back with their Steelix over here but that's not all Steelix is not a, uh, not a safe sap to a Makago as you guys can see the reason because now I can sneak in one incinerate get the damage, take in the damage of breaking swipe and I can easily get the farm done with incinerate, give myself switch advantage over here, which is huge because either I'm getting, I'm drawing out, a, either I'm drawing out a water ground typing, which is going to be swamp powder quagsire or else I'm getting myself switch in. That's how important Makago is for this team. And now uh, they can go for the brave bird all day long, but that does not tickle me right now but now the final pokemon that they have access to is is going to be a problematic situation for me because from this kind of range this they have access to uh talent flame over here because that core breaks my uh team of uh steelix and co guys over here having access to uh flame charge but nevertheless i can easily go for this uh registered uh seed bomb and Razor leaf damage for onto this talent flame over here because now once I am in uh, with Steelix with two shield advantage onto whatever anything I am on the driver's seat of this match which is going to be the case which they realize and they top lift the game over here so though it was hard countered I did somehow manage to win the matchup uh battle over here moving on with the next battle picking up a really good lead of b barrel over here onto a safe sap of uh, talon flame over here which is going to be met with my makago which is huge because now i can easily over farm by quite a bit of energy and yeah almost max out energy and i'll be going for the next rock tomb that will be a uh, overkill because of the defense drop onto this talon flame and what Ever they are coming back in with is going to face the debuff of Rock Tomb over here, which is going to be the Bibarel coming in. But uh, though it's resisted, Rock Tomb does quite a bit of damage to Bibarel as well. And now I can easily come back with my Razor Leafer once again because they have access to Serve that does not tickle my uh, tickle my uh, uh, Gorgeist over here in the final Pokemon that they have access to is going to be a makago which is troublesome again but not for a steelix with a two shield advantage and i even call the bait of rock tomb over here which is huge because now though my defense like my attack is lowered i can eventually shield up and i can eventually go for this back-to-back -back debuffing moves of breaking swipe which ensures me the next move that does not uh almost knock me out knock me out because i can let this next charge move go through it's going to be overheat and now they're quadruple debuffed so i can easily easily come back with my uh go guys over here and they are quite low that one like couple of razor leaves should end up the game but not before they go for the doctor move over here which does not uh do a hard time with me because i can easily get the farm down with razor leaf and get the knockout for this matchup here as well Moving on with the next battle, I pick up a lead against the Steelix once again. So same as our, same as uh, earlier, I will be taking in uh, this first breaking swipe and then I'll be switching in uh, to my Makago over here. So Makago is kind of a good, uh, having a good matchup 
against Steelix, but now I have a safe swap of Swampert over here. So this is the reason I have Makago as my safe swap because it does so much damage onto a, onto a Swampert as well with uh, overheat. But nevertheless, once this water ground typing is out, my Steelix have a really good matchup to play in the end game. To which now I can easily come back with my Go Guys over here, take in the Hydro Cannon and get the farm down with the Eraser Leaf. To which I believe they are again coming back with their Steelix once again, so I can easily go for the neutral damage of. Uh, seed bomb that does ensure the shield over here which is huge and now i have again put myself into a a, a two shielded steelix scenario over here and i call the breaking swipe bait as well which is very risky very rough but it was worth the risk because uh now i will be shielding i will letting this next arm go through as well which is going to be the breaking swipe once again because now though it's debuffed uh my opponent's Steelix is quite low so that uh, one Earthquake does take me, take it out and now nevertheless I can, uh, maybe I can let this next charge move go through as well which ends up being a breaking swipe which I was counting correctly and the final Pokemon that they are access to is going to be a Venusaur over here. So Venusaur will not appreciate this incoming neutral breaking swipes and debuffing them as well and now I'll be switching out into my Gore guys over here. To soak up the uh, energy of, uh, of Frenzy Plant and now I can easily come back with my Steelix which is still having access to two shields over here that uh, now I'm just kind of range maybe maybe I'll be uh, investing both my shield over here onto two Frenzy Plant but if they're able to reach uh, to two in this case not before I can easily farm them down with the Dragon Tails and now I have enough energy to go for the Earthquake onto this incoming uh, Steelix over here that will be getting the knockout with this Earthquake uh, getting the win for the final battle of the video over here. So that will be all for this video. So this team was totally super fun and see you again in the next one. Till then, peace.